Hi, I'm Chef Bill Quick. I'm the culinary arts instructor at Withlacoochee Technical College in Inverness, Florida, and today we're going to make a milk dough. The milk dough is a basic white bread dough that's used to make hamburger rolls, hot dog rolls, dinner rolls. We use it here at the college for most of our baked goods. So let's get started. In this bowl, I have 36 ounces of, all, of unbleached bread flour. To it, I'm going to add two warm eggs. I'm going to add approximately three ounces of sugar, all just regular sugar. This is a half ounce of salt, iodized salt, doesn't matter, you can use sea salt, not really a problem. Here's a half ounce of instant yeast. If you're using fresh yeast, uh, make, use one third, the, uh, three times the amount, excuse me, dump it in. Here I have shortening, this is just all purpose shortening, room temperature and room temperature butter. This is unsalted butter, we always use unsalted butter. We can add our own salt, you don't need to add it. We also have this is three cups of regular milk. You can use water, you can use water with milk powder added. So everything's in the bowl. We're gonna go ahead and lift the bowl up and turn it on low so we don't wear it. So what we're looking for here is this mix is we want it to kind of clear the sides of the bowl and be stuck just in the bottom of the bowl. If it's not, you're gonna to have to add a little more flour. Flour can uh, have some moisture in it and it's, it's never the same. You always, there's always a little addition. You'll see I have a little flour here on the side just to add a little extra should I need it. Um, this will take approximately six to eight minutes to knead. So now we can increase the speed a little bit so we don't throw it all over the kitchen and let it go. The mistake a lot of people make when they mix doughs is they don't mix them enough and they come up with flat, flat bread. Um, you really need to activate the gluten in the dough. That's the stuff that makes it stretchy. So if you don't mix it enough, you're just going to have flat bread. A lot of people make that mistake. It really needs to go six to eight minutes. So we let it go about six minutes. If it looks like it's not doing what we want it to do, we'll add just a little bit more flour and finish it off. Okay, so now you can see that the, the dough has cleared the bowl and it's stuck in the bottom. So now I'm just going to take it out on a floured bench. Just going to take a little pan coating here. Coat our bowl, keep it from sticking. Gonna round off our dough. You can see it's a nice, soft, supple dough. Drop it in the bowl, flip it over like that. We're gonna cover this and let it rest until it's doubled in size. Should look like this when it's done. See it drop, nice and soft. Flour our bench, take it out. Nice and clear, clean the bowl nicely. We're gonna punch it down and now we can shape it. So we'll take our dough cutter. This will make uh, like four loaves of white bread or you can make um, uh, two loaves of white bread and some hamburger rolls or hot dog rolls. So we'll split it up into a few different things here. So to make the white bread, we're just gonna take like this, flatten it out a little bit. We're gonna bring the sides in like this and then start rolling it up. And as we roll it, I'm sealing it. I don't know if you can see that. I'm sealing it as we go. We're going to seal it really good with the edge with my hand. Give it a little roll. This is our baking pans. They're lightly greased with a little bit of flour and you put it seam side down. Okay, we'll do one more. So we flatten it out. Don't try to get too much flour inside. You don't like a lot of flour rolled up inside your bread. Go ahead and seal it up. I'm making nice Seal, nice, bang it hard, little roll, like that. Now, again, this will be put in our proof box or let it, let it rise on the bench until it's doubled in size. We'll size, we'll split it, and then we'll bake it off. So, hamburger rolls. We like to do them about three ounces, which is about that size right there. You can sure weigh it off. For this demonstration, I'm just gonna cut it up a little bit. Okay, and the same thing with a hot dog roll. Pretty much about the same size. We like to use about three ounces of dough here. So a hot dog roll, very easy to do. It's basically the same as that. We're gonna flatten it out a bit, a little flour. I'm just gonna start rolling it up and pinching it down. Put my hand in the middle, roll back and forth, hand on the bumps, push down. Nice little hot dog roll. Hot dog roll, pretty simple. Put the dough down. I do what's called the claw with my hand. Put it on, push down, and just lock your fingers and round it on the bench. Like that, nice and smooth. See, 
You can do two hands. Get it done. Pretty quick. Just like that. So we'll take these and we'll put them on a sheet pan. This is the little uh, pan liner it's called. This is a silicone coated piece of parchment paper that will keep it from sticking. We'll do the hot dog, the hamburger rolls on one. Okay. We'll put the hot dog rolls on another and make a couple more. Not quite enough. And in the middle, bumps like that, really nice. Make sure that when we put these on a pan, oops, that we put the seam side down so they don't unroll. These can be egg wash, little egg and water whipped together, brush them, and they set, cover them in a nice warm place, let them double in size, and then we'll bake them off, okay? You can also make nice dinner rolls with this. Same thing, these we like to cut are about one and a half ounces is plenty. Okay, and those you can do on a sheet pan along with your hot dog rolls if you like. Just turn them to the side. Like that. Roll it out. Make a nice little knot shape if you like. Roll it out. Take the end, bring it around and press it hard. Put that in the middle, roll it over. You got a little knot. Another thing you do is what's called a clover leaf. And there you just do a little bit. You take your hands, put it on there, cut in three little balls. Pick it up and put it in a, in a muffin tin. Do a Parker House roll. Just roll it back and forth. Make a little hole in the center. Put a little butter in there, flip it over. And you have Parker House rolls. So here's our finished product. Um, all risen, baked off nice. We put a little egg wash on it. These are our uh, clover leaf rolls. This is the Parker House roll. These are little knots that we made. Hamburger, uh, hot dog rolls and hamburger rolls. Now the hamburger rolls are risen twice. What we do is we press them, we put a little egg wash on them, add the seed, and then let them rise again before they're baked. Okay? Um, all of these are, are made by students here. I didn't make these actually. These are made by students here at the school. For more information, contact with the Coochie Technical College. Thank you. We'll see you again next time.